Welcome to the DirecTV Charleston Classic presented by Foster Grant. The championship here at TD Arena in Charleston, South Carolina. Northwestern against Seton Hall. A look at the brackets, and when this game is done, only one team will have three wins here in Charleston, South Carolina. Will it be Northwestern or will it be Seton Hall? Northwestern trying to start 4-0 for the second straight year. Sure enough. Gets it to go, his first two points, the first two points of the ball game. And now a full court press applied here by Seton Hall. Hearn to the hoop. Skip pass, good ball movement. Aaron Cosby into the trees. And it's an offensive foul against the freshman Cosby. The perimeter. Sure enough. As it pokes away, gets it back, steps underneath, gets the roll. Edwin chases down the rebound, up ahead to Theodore. Theodore has it blocked by Sherna. Sherna back door for Crawford. Every time somebody comes through that lane, Auda is checking them right in the chest, making his. Good job closing out. Crawford goes baseline, leaves it for Murkovich. Davide Carletti leaves it off for Crawford for three. Marco Tullio for three again. This time he gets it to go. Oh, showing off his ball handling skills, forcing off the shot. And Crawford chased the loose ball down. Crawford goes back door. Off the glass. Nice move by Drew Crawford. Theodore's pass is picked off by Marco Tulio. Both teams 3-0 to start the season. Murkovich lays it in as Pope went for the steal. Murkovich against Jaramapur. And Murkovich able to beat Jaramapur. So a very deep, deep Big East. And we didn't mention Pittsburgh. The back door again right down the lane. This time it's Sherna. Crawford gets inside, puts up the runner. Sherna, good slip by Murkovich. Eight-nothing run for Northwestern. Timeout taken here by Seton Hall. Crawford, the pull-up jumper from the baseline gets the roll. Murkovich tried to find Cobb backdoor. Crawford for three is good. Drew Crawford. Crawford again from the corner. Got it. 17 for Crawford. Considering going against the lights of Yancey Gates and some others down low in that conference. Good defense. Luka Murkovic hits a difficult shot. Murkovic with a mismatch against Edwin. And get the ball out of their hands. And if you're Seton Hall, don't foul here. Crawford, the three off the glass. Oh, my gosh. Looking back to it for Crawford. Got it, and the foul. Cosby, good look for Alda, who gets it blocked by Sherna. Shot clock at eight. They find Sobolewski back door. That is just pretty to watch, the entire offensive possession. Sobolewski the three. He's got it. Sherna for three. Big shot by Sherna. Skip pass, corner, Crawford, three. Curletti with the rebound and tip it. Sherna against Alda. The fadeaway, got it. Cosby blocked by Sherna. Theodore's got to go with seven on the shot clock. Looks down low, Edwin doesn't draw iron, pop. He's got to get it up, shot clock violation. Crawford for two. Northwestern back up by two, and Crawford's got 24. Craw Theodore now for three, and the rebound into Crawford's hands. Up ahead to Curletti. And Curletti gets fouled by Theodore. <laughs> Nothing but net. You have to attack those gaps in the zone. Sure enough. 
Gets fouled. That will be on her post. Double bonus the rest of the way. Cosby the three. Rebound chased down by Marco Tulio. I just don't like the shot so early in the shot clock. And now Theodore the reach and foul. And that's going to be two more free throws here for Marco Tulio. Three point shots with 32 seconds left on the shot clock. This 1 3 1 has stimmied the offense of Seton Hall. Crawford puts up the shot, gets the roll. Drew Crawford now with 26. And you got to go. Pope. Sherna with the steal. Sherna. And barring any injuries, I really think Northwestern has a legitimate shot to making its first NCAA tournament appearance this year, considering the landscape of the Big Ten. And Northwestern will move to 4-0 for the second straight year as they win the 2011 Charleston Classic. Great effort on both sides from both teams. But that 1-3-1 one, one zone, once again, really hindered the movement of the ball for Seton Hall. Some lazy turnovers allowed Northwestern to capitalize and to get control back of this game. Seton Hall, a valiant effort, that 15-0 run, took the lead, but then Northwestern made the adjustments and came back. The Northwestern fans making the fans, making the noise as well. We heard a lot from the Seton Hall fans. The bracket, it's now official. Northwestern, the champions here of the 2011 Charleston Classic. Once again, our final score, Northwestern 80, Seton Hall 73. Coming up next, the 2011 SWAC Women's Volleyball Championship. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. The proceeding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. The Wildcats of Northwestern improve to 4-0. Seton Hall suffers their first loss of the season. They fall to 3-1. A great night of basketball here in Charleston. It's been a great four days for Jay Williams and our entire crew. I am Justin Cutcher saying good night from Charleston, South Carolina.